Hi, I'm Josh Clark, and this is Don't Be Dumb. Thank you for joining me. Have you ever wondered where the best place is to sit on a train in case of a crash? That's great if you have. It turns out that there's no hard and fast rule where the best place is to sit on a train in case of a crash, but there are some things we can think about to try to figure out what might be the best place to sit. See, it turns out that most train accidents occur around railroad crossings. And since trains typically go forward with the front in the front, the front cars are probably out of bounds since they're the ones most likely to be involved in a collision. But don't forget that there's a lot of train on train collisions, which means that one train rear ends another, which kind of rules out the rear cars too, right? So that leaves the middle cars, which are probably the best bet for where to sit on a train in the event of a collision. But we're not done yet. How you're sitting makes a big difference too. Consider this. If you're facing forward in the direction the train is going and it has a collision, that means you're gonna fly forward. If you're facing the opposite direction the train is traveling, then you're gonna be pushed into your seat and possibly less likely to be injured. What's more, if you can't help but face forward, you better be sure that you don't sit down facing forward at one of those seats that has a table attached to it, because that thing will cut you right in half. So the next time you and a friend are riding on the train and your friend says, hey, let's sit in one of the front or rear cars in a forward facing position at one of those seats with a table attached, you set them straight. Tell him Josh sent you. Thanks for joining me.